All right guys, it's harvest season and sometimes you're out working when it's dark and you need a flashlight that's bright so you can see what's going on and get your job done. Whether you're a farmer, a cop, or an HVAC technician, you need a light that's gonna be reliable. But I'm also gonna talk about another flashlight too while I'm at it. I'm also gonna be talking about my PD35 3.0 Phoenix flashlight. This is the flashlight I carry every day at work. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you a few things about them and why I think they're some of the best lights out there right now. This review is gonna be primarily about the TK22 at first because that's the flashlight they asked me to review. When they were sending me that flashlight, I asked them to send me the PD35 3.0 because that was the latest version of the flashlight I was already carrying. Just full disclosure, I purchased all my previous Phoenix flashlights out of my own pocket. So all of my reviews are unbiased and of my own opinion. So what comes in the box you say? Well, let's take a look real quick. Comes with a manual, comes with a flashlight, the battery. The battery is 5,000 milliamp hour and it is a 21700 battery. It has USB-C charging built right into the side of it. No longer need a external charger. You are able to remove the battery from the flashlight and charge it. I really like this type of design a lot better because that allows the flashlight to be completely sealed against any of the elements. The nylon holster holds the flashlight just as you see right there. You do have a plastic loop atop that you could hook it to a bag and it does have a Velcro strap on the back so you can attach it to your belt. The flashlight has a total of two different modes and three positions on the switch. In the center position here, it is locked. On the right here is duty mode. You have eco at 30 lumens. You have low at 150 lumens. You have medium at 350 lumens and high at 1000 lumens. And with a hold and press of a button, you have 2500 lumens a strobe. All right, switching it over to tactical mode. We have two modes of operation. We have 2800 lumens and we have strobe at 2500 lumens. At 2800 lumens, you can see in tactical mode, we're still daylight, yet we're able to throw a beam that far. All right, so you can see how dark it is right now. There ain't much out here that you can see. But here's what the light can do. We have the TK22 in the tactical mode right now. You're able to see from all the way up here at the house area, all the way at the very back, no problem. And that's without zooming in with the camera. Okay, so here's your eco mode, which you know, 30 lumens. Plenty bright enough so that you can read a book, instructions. The 150 is what I use most of the time with most of my lights. It's more than enough for up close and for doing work. The 350, then the 1000 lumens is just about as bright as the 2500. You can switch from tactical to duty mode without losing the light. So I just switched there and then there you can see what the 2800 lumens is like. And then far strobe, even though you're completely blanking out, that's 2500 lumens for the strobe. All right, so this is my PD35. Once again, you have your eco mode this has got a very nice circular beam pattern, as you can see. There's your low, medium, high. High's getting right out there too. Now you gotta remember, this is just that small light here. This is my PD35 version 3.0. And then you have turbo. That's out of that small PD35. That's why it's one of their best selling flashlights. Look how bright that is in a small handheld flashlight like this. And then even the strobe, which my feeling is not only is this the best technician's flashlight, but I feel as though it's perfect light for medical and police, uh, fire, you name it. It's one of their best selling flashlights. Now that we're back inside, we'll go over the buttons just one more time to make sure I got everything explained as best as possible. As I mentioned earlier, the center position is the locked position. So when you do push on it, nothing does happen. The duty mode is one click to the right. This is where you get the multiple different stages of light levels. When you press down momentarily, it uh, comes right on. Release comes right off. If you push all the way down, it locks in. If you hold the button down, it will go into the strobe mode and stay in there. Press it again to remove it back out of it. The items that do come with the flashlight is a removable clip, a lanyard, and a spare O-ring, the battery, the carrying case, and the flashlight itself along with a manual and a warranty card. The runtime on this is rated at three hours in turbo mode, but that is an accumulative runtime. It will step down when it gets too hot. It will step down when the battery starts to drop in power. The high is at four hours. Once again, it has an asterisk beside it. 
And that's the same scenario it is in a cumulative runtime. In medium mode, it does not have an asterisk behind it. It is rated at eight hours and 10 minutes. Low is rated at 18 hours and 30 minutes, and Eco is at 49 hours and 30 minutes. That is the rundown of the Phoenix TK22 TAC. Now let's take a look at the PD35. This is the Kydex case I've been using for quite a long time. It's not very expensive. I think they're around $15 to $20. I have not broke this yet. This is very durable. It does not come with those, but you can pick them up on Amazon. I will have a link down in the description down below. This is also gonna demonstrate the wear and tear on it. I've been wearing this now for about the last three months. The PD35 also comes with a removable clip, a lanyard, a spare O-ring, a replacement rubber cap for the press button on the rear, a battery, a USB cable, a manual, and a box with the flashlight in it. When we open it up, we just untwist the rear cap here. We remove the battery. It is an 18650 battery. As you can see, I received this back in July 5th of 2022. It does have a USB mini on the back of it. That is, once again, they remove the outside plugs. I like that better because like I said, it doesn't allow anything into the flashlight and it tended to have problems with the caps. The whole reason why I do these reviews on these flashlights is only because I use them. I think they're useful to technicians in the field, in the HVAC field. That's what I do. Those are what my videos are usually are primarily focused on. It's really to try to do a service for you guys so that you can find one that you really like. If you guys are not willing to spend, you know, $50 to $100 for a flashlight, then these are not the flashlights for you. But it will be one of the last flashlights you buy anytime soon. So jumping on the operation of this flashlight, when you push the power button, it does show you a green indicator, which tells you that the battery level is high. If it's flashing, it's down to 75% to 50%. If it's solid red, it's 25% or less. And then if it's flashing red, it's very low. Half a press brings on the light, push all the way down, it locks it in. To change the modes on this one, you actually hit the side button. And as I mentioned, we have eco, low, medium, high, turbo, hold down, and you get strobe. Those are the flashlights that I use right now currently. This here is my everyday carry. I did another video earlier on a little pocket flashlight, which I'm still carrying that. I really like that for when I'm not working. But that is the PD35 and the TK22. If you guys want to check out the links below, I have links to Amazon. You guys can pick them up, support the channel. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Once again, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. Hopefully it was informative and you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, later.